Hello, uh, hello all. Uh, welcome to this session. Uh, the objective of this session is to uh, check out how to do a stock transfer within the same storage type between two storage bins. Now, let's assume we have two storage bins and we would like to move stock internally with, under the same storage type. How would we do that? There are multiple various, uh, there are multiple ways. However, in this uh, video, we would be looking at how to do it using the transaction code LT10. Now, uh, prior to that, let's try analyzing. Uh, I'm going to check out the storage bin status. So, this is my warehouse and these are the two storage bins which I'm going to pick up. Okay, now you can see here that we have 01010101. We have uh, quantity but 01012 is empty. So, let's see how much quantity is there in this. So, we have 100 each of less compay material. Uh, now what we are going to do is we are going to transfer that 100 each material of less compay pay uh, to storage bin 01.0.1.0.2 now within the same storage type 101 so for that let's try the transaction code LT10 so I'm opening the transaction code LT10 now my warehouse was 089 and you can see here my storage type was 101 so I have picked up 101 and I will be picking up both the storage bins 010101 and 010102 and let me execute. Now you can see here it has only picked up the storage bin which is having quantity. Reason being you can not move any stock from an empty storage bin to any other storage bin. You can only move stock from one storage bin which is having stock to another storage bin. Now, I am going to transfer. Now, I am going to do it in the foreground. These are the two options available. Either you can transfer in foreground or in the background. I would prefer foreground because we would like to see how the system would behave. Now, the storage type is 101 and the storage bin is 010102. Now, the expectation is that when I would do this, uh, when I now here you can see here confirm immediately if I click on this or uh, it would immediately move and we would not be able to see the movement actual movement uh, hence I would not uh, take this confirmation immediately option uh, what I'm gonna do is I would uh, prefer to show you how to confirm the transfer order manually so that we can see the actual goods movement happening the actual stock transfer happening between both the bands now uh, the moment when I'm clicking on copy my expectation from the system is that it should give me both the options it should lock this option out for any stock transfer and it should also give me the storage bin 01010 entry here uh, reason being there is a probable put away to that particular storage bin and for this 01010 it will still show because there is a probable picking done from the storage bin but it is not yet moved so I would say copy and you can see here it is turned out to green now let me refresh this so the according to the expectation now it has logged out the entries and you can see both the storage bins are visible here 010101 and 010102 now we need to see the transfer order which is being created now there are two options you can straight away go into the bin and you can find out otherwise I would straight away go to LT22 and I can find out here you can see here this is less compay 101 each now if you go to LS24 Material is less compay. Plant is three thousand. Now you can pick out the storage bins here, but I'm not going to pick up the storage bin because I'm interested to see about both the entries. Now you can see here zero one zero one zero one and zero one zero one zero two. Now here you can see available stock is right now 0 and 010101 however pick quantity is 100 here 
and the total stock is 100 now here is 0, 01 0, 01 0, 02 you can see here the put away quantity is 100 and there is no total stock available yet and here available stock is not there so my expectation from the system is the moment i would confirm the transfer order this entry of 0, 01 0, 01 0, 01 should be vanished from here this pick quantity should be 0 and the total available quantity in 0, 01 0, 01 0, 02 should be 100 and this put away stock should be updated here so i'm going to transfer confirm the transfer order i'm doing going to do it in the background so here you can see it's done now let me see here so i'm going again now you can see here the 010101 entry is missing it, it's gone it's vanished out by the system and in 010102 the total stock is updated to 100 now same thing let's see the now here same thing this is the lt10 entries we had now here you can see the both the lock entries now this should be, the moment i should refresh the expectation from the system is that it should vanish this entry 010101 and this entry should be again become selectionable reason being the quantity is already moved to this particular bin so let's see so you can see here now it has again given an option to select and here now in this 100 each is updated so this is how you would be transferring the stock between the same warehouse under the same storage type with no su management involved now thank you very much for watching this video please do like and subscribe to my channel so that uh, you would be key, uh, you would be updated with the latest videos whatever i would keep on adding to the profile thank you so much for watching